Australian researchers have found a way to spot plastic rubbish on our beaches from space. The satellite imagery tool developed by RMIT University scientists picks up differences in how sand, water and plastics reflect light, helping to identify areas that need to be cleaned up. Well, let's find out more from study lead author Dr Jenna Guffig. Now, Jenna, this is really, really fascinating. Tell us a bit more about this te new technology and how it's different to what we're used to. Yeah, so... Um Satellites are these really incredible tools that we can use to track a whole range of things in the environment. And the way we're able to do that is satellites can pick up on light patterns. So almost everything on the surface of the Earth has a unique fingerprint in light. Some of that we can see, some of it we can't. Satellites can see a lot more than we can, so they're great at collecting these fingerprints. And what we can do then is we can develop these algorithms that really hone in on the differences in those fingerprints. So how is that fingerprint different for plastic compared to sand? And so what we've done with our new research is we've developed one of these new algorithms that really hones in on the differences between plastics and the other things that we find on a beach environment and it magnifies those differences so that we can spot these plastics. So previously we couldn't really distinguish between different types of, I guess, items on the beach. And why is it useful to be able to spot these plastics from so far up from space? Yeah, so, um, one of the things that I love about this area, working with satellites, is that they are able to collect data on a global scale. So plastics aren't bound by jurisdictions. They move a lot. There's a lot of plastic in the ocean. When it gets washed up on a beach, it could be somewhere local where someone spots it. It could be somewhere really remote where there is no one there. Uh, and so using these tools, we can work towards developing ways of finding plastics in areas that are really remote, perhaps areas that are not so safe to send people to, and then use that to try and help guide cleanup efforts to where they're most needed. So tell us where they're most needed. Where are these plastic rubbish hotspots around the world? I think perhaps the one that people are most famously uh, would associate with this problem is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is a large area in the middle of the North Pacific Ocean that does contain a lot of plastics. It's not the only hotspot we get. One of the challenges we face with plastics is they're very mobile. So they can move all around the world. They can end up in a whole bunch of different spots. We're pretty lucky in Victoria. Our beaches are relatively clean. Other areas in the world aren't so lucky. Um, we find plastics, unfortunately, everywhere from the Arctic to the Antarctic, from the tops of mountains to the ocean floor. So where the plastics are, unfortunately, is everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to take sort of a global effort to find these hotspots and to track them over time. How much of an issue is ocean plastic compared to, say, uh, 10 years ago? Uh, uh, is the situ has the situation improved or is it getting worse? So it's really challenging to sort of wrap our heads around how big this problem can be. Um, it is, as our society produces more plastics, we do see more plastics escaping into the environment. Um, one of the more recent estimates that I've heard from scientists where they've collected data from around the world is that there's roughly the same number of plastic items floating in our oceans now as there are stars in our Milky Way. And that number sits around five trillion pieces, uh, which is a huge number. It's really hard to comprehend that. Um, it is something that will continue to grow as we produce more plastics. Hopefully we can find better ways of tracking the problem as it is now. Uh, and working to address it in future. Mm. On that note, how can we further develop this technology to help us in the future to, to tackle this massive problem? Yeah, so um, I think what we've done at RMIT is a fantastic first step. We've shown that this sort of technique can work and that has application. The next step is to try and scale that up. So we've tested it on some local beaches here in Victoria. We'd love to see other researchers take what we've done and continue to improve on it, or to see organisations that work along our coastlines uh, perhaps pick this up and see if they can scale it up to much larger areas. The wonderful thing about satellites, they capture data all around the globe. There's no reason this couldn't be applied to another beach in another country. So that's what we're hoping for.